you. Finding life rather dull. Dreaming again of exotic places. Wishing you were somewhere else. We offer you Escape. <laughs> Escape with us now to the Western Pacific and the story of a man trapped by the terror of another man's insane dream, as Millard Kaufman tells it in his exciting story, The Island. The problem was, what could I do with Robert Lacey? You happen to have a dream book handy with all the charts and categories precisely arranged in alphabetical order? In it, you'll find a dream for loneliness about girls in soft summery dresses. You'll find a dream for hunger, a two-pound steak perhaps smothered all over with lamb chops. There are dreams for the traveler of a hometown far away and long ago. But find me a dream of a place you've never seen, a place that doesn't exist. Awake or asleep, that was Lacey's dream. Corporal Robert Lacey, 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines. A harmless enough dream, I guess, and not to be taken seriously. Or so it seemed until that night when Lacey's dream became my problem. May it was, 1945 in a little wood on Okinawa. Well. Okay, Tabori, I guess we're safe. Where are we, anyhow? Oh, a couple of three miles behind the Jap lines. So how safe is that? <laughs> you worry too much, pal. Even for a guy on his first patrol. I've been thinking of it as my last. Nah, relax like me. You'll live forever. Whoa. What's that? Yeah, it's nothing. Just a screaming Mimi. Got some kind of a tail adjustment that cuts the wind and sort of screams. Nips use it to scare us. Well, they sure succeeded. <laughs> you scare easy, don't you, pal? Yeah, sure. I'm a pushover for that Shrekleykite stuff. Shrekleykite? Well, what kind of jive is that? It means terror. Frightfulness. The Germans got a whole arsenal of terror weapons. Yeah, well, the Japs got a few of themselves. Yeah, what do you say we sack in, huh? Here? That's as good as the next place. What a lash up. Three miles behind Jap lines. Got no more chance of getting back tonight and crawling through the hole in a lifesaver. Get knocked off if we try. You take a first watch. I'm going to sack in. You're going to sleep? Oh, my. Oh, maybe I'll just sit down here and do a little dreaming for a while. You're sure picking a fine time for it. Ain't I ever tell you about my island? Yeah, you told me. Well, there's this island, see? You must have told me 50, 60 times in the past month. Well, I'm going to tell you again. This island, it's a sort of a special place. There's no rain... No jungle rot, no war. Just a quiet, cozy spot where a man can lay down under a banyan tree and live off the fat of the land. Uh, there is no such place. On this island, a man would never go hungry. All you gotta do is fish a little bit with the natives, and they'll all be big men, and they'll be friendly, not like the nips. And all the, all the women will be beautiful. You read too many comic books. Yeah, that's where I'm fixing to go as soon as I find it. Never gonna go back stateside. Just gonna lay down under that little old banyan tree. I let him rave on. While. What else could I do? Argue with him? Maybe fish a little? There I was, three miles deep in enemy lines with a strange elf. Yes, sir. His eyes narrowed in a thousand-yard stare. See, I don't His rush of words like a nervous twitch. 
He raved on about a place that don't exist, with big men and beautiful women. Real pretty, different, you know? Like nothing you ever saw. I found myself listening sort of hypnotized, and I learned something about Corporal Lacey and what combat weariness means. He'd foraged too long among the rotten, bomb-scarred pebbles of the Pacific. He'd seen too much death, too many crack-ups. He himself was half-cracked and slightly dead, barely held together by the taut and twisted wires of his dream. So what could I do, argue with him? I'm gonna eat roast wild pig and pineapple and bat the breeze with the people. And there's gonna be cattle on the island, too. I'm gonna find me a beautiful girl and I... Tabari. Yeah. Yeah, I'm listening. Look, Tabari, out there. Coming toward us. No, no, over there. About two o'clock, you see it? A bunch of them. No, it's not a bunch, it's just four. Three men and a woman. They're heading right for us. Hey, put down that rifle. What's the matter, you flip or something? They're not Japs. Men are too big. It's funny, though. Woman with them. Maybe his eyes were better than mine, but how could I trust that brain of his, all fested with dreaming? But I tell you, they're not Japs. And that woman is beautiful. If I had only listened to Lacey, then if I had only known... But Japs are no Japs, I was taking no chances. I raised my rifle and... Knock it off, you jerk. <clears throat> you hit the woman. Lacey, where are you going? I'm going to see if she's hurt bad. Now, come on. Don't go, Lacey. You know the Japs. It might be a trick. Uh, don't worry about me. <clears throat> Will you let go of my arm? You get yourself killed. Not me, Tabori. I'll live to spit in your grave. Now, let go of me. Okay, I hope you know what you're doing. I just don't want to get involved in your cockamamie Dreams? Dreams? It's no dream, Tabori. You'll find out. Okay, Lacey. So where is she? That's funny. Must be around here somewhere. Maybe she can... What's that? It's coming from over there. Come on. Now, here she is. She's scared of us. It's all right, lady. Go away. Go away. No, we ain't gonna hurt you, lady. I hurt you. I hurt you. Maybe she's on. Nah, she's bluffing. Break out your first aid kit. Here. That's a boy. Now, look, lady. Let me fix your arm, huh? See, we got bandages and adhesive tape and penicillin. She don't get what you're talking about. She gets the idea, all right. That's right, lady. Now, it's not gonna hurt you a little bit. And we put it around there. You just got nicked a little, that's all. Just a flesh wound. She trusts you. Yeah, she trusts me more than you do. Didn't I tell you she was beautiful? You told me a lot of things. How about the men she was with, the big men? She was with them, and they weren't Japs. Not Japs in a pig's eye, not Japs. No. No, they're not Japs. Yeah, there, you see? And what were they? They were... How you say... My people. Well, who are you? What are you? What's your name? Name... Taki. I am... I know can't say in English, but... But please go away. Please, you... You go away fast. Now, now you scared her again. No, it, it's going to be all right, Taki. Everything's going to be all right. You you just come on with us. No, now, I, huh? I, I go home. Must go home. So go home. Scram. Lose yourself. Oh, no, you don't. <coughs> let her alone, Lacey. Hey, you keep out of this. Then let her go. Let her get back to her rice paddies. You still don't catch Tabori. She ain't from Okinawa. She's from that island I was telling you about. Look, Lacey, I don't care if she's from Mars. I'm not from Mars. No kidding. Also, I'm not from Okinawa. What? I'm from Yagachi. Yagachi Shima. Shima, there, you see? Shima means an island. Yes, island. Then what are you doing here? I do not know. The Japanese brought us in canoe. She's crazier than you are. Whoever heard... Shut up. Taki, where is your island? Where is Yagachi? In east, 
in China Sea, yeah. a half day from Okinawa by canoe. Canoe. What's it like, Tucky? What's your island like? Never mind the island. Let's find a canoe. Don't you see, Lacey? With the canoe, we can get back to our lines by water. Yeah, I think maybe you've got something there. Taki. Taki, can you find the canoe? I think I can. Then let's go. She led us on through the wood. A lopsided moon came up, and its ray filtered through the clouds and down through the jagged trees. In the moonlight, she was like one of those porcelain figurines, delicate, with a peculiar tint to her skin, unlike anything I'd ever seen before. The shade of waxed ivory, ancient ivory. Her hair was long and black and drawn tight over her head. She was straight and slim, and she walked with dignity. She was beautiful, as beautiful as a dream, Lacey's dream. But dreams don't come true, not like this. Yet here she was, just the way he described her. And the three men in the island. I couldn't figure it out. And just then I hadn't the time because... Lacey, listen to that. What? Yeah. Well, come on. Taki led us down a slope to the water. There were canoes and leaning against the prow were two sentries. They were safe, they thought. Three miles behind their lines, snug as two bugs in a mosquito net. They were so safe, they didn't know what hit them. Ducky, get in the canoe. Okay, you push us off to Burry. Yeah. Uh, come on. That's a boy. All right, you take a bow. Sit down, Taki. Where to? Straight out in the channel. You know what I think, Tabori? I think we're going to make it. Oh. Okay, Tabori. We can take it easy now. I'm... I'm not taking it easy until we cross up perimeter. Yeah? Well, just how are you going to tell at night? Will your Zippo lighter? Oh, lay off. Maybe you think I got neon signs, huh? Well, maybe we'll see a landmark or something. Yeah. Well, the trouble is distances can fool you at night. We're liable to paddle into a platoon of nips. What do we do, Lacey? Well, we'll stand by till morning and head for our convoy. We'll ride ashore in style in an LST. I don't know. I think it'd be better Well, to... look, whatever you think, you're outvoted. You've outvoted two straps to one. Pulling rank, Corporal? Why not, knucklehead? This ship's got one skipper, and I'm it. You are, If like... I want any stuff out of you, I'll knock it out of you. I'm warning you, don't follow up this detail. So what was I going to do? Argue with him? Start a private firefight in the middle of the China Sea? I was getting a little combat weary myself. But Lacey, he was all charged up as though his crazy dream had come true. Lying on the narrow deck of the canoe, I could hear Lacey. The more I heard, the more confused I got. And it's not like the other islands, is it, Tucky? It's different, Yogachi. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I could tell you how. Oh, I know, I know. It's pretty, huh? It's... Very pretty, but... Is the fishing good? It's good. And we have pigs. Yeah? Cows? Good cows. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Cows and pigs. And Lacey getting all hopped up about them. That's the last thing I remembered. I guess I fell asleep. And then suddenly it was daylight. And... Tabori! Uh, hey, look, Tabori. What? Look, over there. What do you see? An island. 
Just an island. It's not just an island. That's my island. What's so special about it? Well, look at it. Look at it. You see, it's surrounded by mist, just like I said. Tell it to the troops when we get back to Okinawa. Stand by for a ram, Tabori. We ain't going back to Okinawa. Now, wait a minute. I don't want any more trouble out of you. Then don't make any or I'll... Where, where, where? You looking for your rifle? Well, don't bother. Because I got it right here. Now, you get up forward. You're crazy. Move! You know, you're flirting with a purple heart. That's a boy. All right, now lean on that paddle. That's right. We're heading for your gotcha. Escape, under the direction of Norman MacDonald, returns in just a moment. Motorists, the next time you put your foot down on the accelerator, tread easy. Remember that excess speed is the cause of most highway accidents. And pedestrians, the next time you start to cross the street between intersections, stop and think. Crossing between intersections is the most dangerous thing you can do. Whether walking or driving, be careful. The life you save may be your own. And now, back to Escape. The canoe scraped the coral beach at Yagachi about four hours later. It was a lovely island with terraced hills and patches of tilled soil checkering the greenery. Well, here we are. Seeing's believing, huh, Tabori? Funny. So close to Okinawa, and this place looks like it never heard a shot fired in anger. Where are your people, Taki? Wrong way over hills. But you must not come. You go back now. Oh, no, not me. I'm sticking around. How about you, Tabori? You came this far. I'll sweat it out just for the laughs. You know, you're going to laugh out of the wrong side of your face. What do you mean? Just a figure of speech, Taki. Let's go. So there I was, caught up in Lacey's dream, when all the time I should have taken off at High Port for Okinawa. I should have known better, but I didn't. And what you don't know can hurt you. Plenty. Hey, Look! Look at that cow. You could eat her down to the hooves. Oh, I tell you, I'm going to live off the fat of the land. The trail snaked upward. Pine trees and casarinas rattled in the sweet, strong wind from the China Sea. Their cones lay along the footpath, and in the fields were raspberry bushes. There were lilies in the sword grass and scarlet flowers. All very nice, I suppose, but I was looking for people. The big men of Lacey's dream. The girls, all as lovely as a girl beside us. I was tense with expectancy at each bend in the trail, but Lacey's tensions had vanished. He lost them because he'd found Taki. Robert Lacey. <laughs> oh, Taki. My name's Lacey. Now try it again. Lacey. <laughs> Lacey. L, like in, uh, this is a lily. You are a lady. And you're a loco. Tabori, I'm going to slug you. <laughs> oh, you so funny, Racy, when you're mad. <laughs> oh, you laugh nice, Taki. It is first time in five years. It is first time I have here. Maybe. Maybe you was waiting for me to make you happy. Like I was waiting for you. What do you mean, Racy? Well, I... I mean... Here. This is for you. Why you give me flower? I love you, Taki. No. No, you cannot. But why, Taki? You... You don't know. I... I, I don't know how to say, but... I, 
You don't know me. Oh, I know you. I've been dreaming about you for two years. I always knew I'd find you. I... I never forget what you say. I'll never let you forget. Oh, Lacey. <laughs> Lacey, honey. L, like in love. They walked on together, the tall marine and the slim girl with the ivory skin, with a flower in her hand. Now and then she'd look at the flower, and then she'd look at Lacey, and a pained expression clouded her face as though she didn't understand. But I did. The loneliness, the weariness, the refuge in a dream. Very soon now that dream would burst like a bubble, but become reality. I had to find out. Man, what a climb. It'd be easier for you if you give me back my rifle. Now, don't you worry about me. I'll get by. Hey, we got it licked. There's the summit. Yeah. It is the highest point on your gashi. See, down there, far away in Bali. Hey, look. Look at them. They, my people. <laughs> I told you they were big men. How can you tell from this distance? Well, look how broad they are. Funny how they're all in a bunch. Hey, listen. Yeah. Maybe it's a... Sort of a ceremony or something, huh? It is. Maybe it's for us. I, I bet they know we're coming. No. It is for dead. What happened, you suppose? A war? The war not here. It... My people die. <laughs> Everybody's people die. It's got to happen sooner or later. Yes. Sooner or later. It's like I always say, here today and gone tomorrow. I never heard it so well put. Oh, drop dead. Dad, dry up. Let's go, Tucky. We went down the mountainside, down to a cape that jutted into the Pacific like a gnarled finger of doom. Far away, we saw a village. We headed toward it through the sunless gorge. At the far end was a thatched hut. It looks like it's empty. As any fool could see. You wait here. I, I come back soon with headman. He speak English good. You, uh... You gonna stay here with me, don't worry? No, Lacey. I just want one good look at your big men and beautiful women in their native habitat. Then I'm off for Okinawa. You still want proof, huh? Yeah. There's something strange about this place. I want to know what it is. It's not strange. It, it's just different, like I said. You're all fouled up in a dream, Lacey. I'm not sure what it's all about, but I gotta find out. It'll drive me crazy the rest of my life. You mean crazy like me? I didn't say that. Since we left Okinawa, you've been giving me a bad time. It was mutual. Now you call me crazy. I know what I said. I know what you think. And I know what you'll do. Once you get back to Okinawa, you'll tell the MPs I went over the hill. And you'll tell them where I am. And they'll come after me. You are crazy. I'm just crazy enough to make sure you keep your trap shut. You remember, Tabori, I said I'd be around to spit in your grave? Hey, Lacey, stop kidding around with that rifle. I ain't kidding. I'm gonna kill you. No question about it, he wasn't kidding. He slid back the bolt of his rifle and it sprang forward, a cartridge in the chamber. I'm going to kill you, Tabori. But first you're going to see I was right. I want to see the expression on that smart aleck face of yours when you admit it. And then I'm going to kill you. Now get back in that corner. And keep your mouth shut. You, uh, you the head man? I suppose you could call me that. His name, Hiroshi. What can I do for you? Well, I... I, uh... I want to stay here. With... Taki. I'm afraid you can't. Well, I, I'll work my way, you know that. That is not the point. You cannot... Look, I don't want no arguments out of you. You cannot stay. But why can't I? She is a leper. Her... 
Uh, but she's so beautiful. I know, son. But in three years, five years... Taki? I... I'm sorry, Taki. So am I. I... I try to tell you, but I don't know how. And... And then I... I could not, even if I want to. I wanted to... to rest one more hour, one more minute. They stood there facing each other, the tall Marine and the girl with the ivory skin with the flowers still in her hand, the flower already beginning to wilt. Goodbye, Raisty. Goodbye. Thank you for... for the flower. That... it's all right. I never forget you. Uh, I won't forget either. It was like a dream come true. For a while it was. Goodbye. Hiroshi, what's this all about? It is quite simple. Two nights ago, the Japanese came to the leper colony. They took more than half my patients to Okinawa, headed toward the American lines. But why? To disrupt your advance. There was no chance of contagion, but, well, my patients aren't all as lovely as Taki. I see. Shrekless kite. Exactly. A weapon of terror. Tabori? Yeah, Lacey. I... Uh, I guess we better move on, huh? Are you ready, pal? Yeah. Long road back to Okinawa. For me, the... The road back is... Longer than that. Under the direction of Norman MacDonald, Escape has brought you The Island by Millard Kaufman, starring Harry Bartell and Bill Conrad with Michael Ann Barrett and Edgar Barrier. The special music for Escape is composed and conducted by Leith Stevens. <laughs> Escape with us to the most evil city in the Orient, and the story of a beautiful but unscrupulous woman who ruled it, as Herb Purdom tells it in his exciting tale, Macau. He's coming up next on most of these same CBS stations, yours truly, Johnny Dollar. You want to hear every exciting minute of the fairway matter in which 13 die when one man is marked for murder. It's one of Johnny Dollar's most exciting insurance investigations in which he turns in a masterful expense account as well as masterful deduction. Stay tuned for yours truly, Johnny Dollar, next on most of these same CBS stations. Roy Rowan speaking. This is CBS, where you meet Mr. Keene, tracer of lost persons every Thursday night, the Columbia Broadcasting System.